What's the beef chiefs? Welcome back to the channel. Sorry I've been MIA for the last while. I've just been so busy with work and just life in general. But I have an update coming soon about the drums. So make sure you tune in for that. Um, but for now, this video is all about big and bold. Friday, Saturday and Sunday I came in here on my own done 11 a.m. till 11 p.m. and I built an entire shop using 10 sheets of metal I'm gonna show you guys a clip of that now so this is what I built all last weekend cabinets that display the products reception desk where we give away business cards the card machine is there there's holes there that drop down into it every cabinet has um extension lids so we can plug everything in and then obviously they have shelves and stuff for merchandise and other bits but that's it that's the shop we built but it was just missing one thing and that one thing it was missing was a tv so stick around so as you can see, a lot of hard, hard work went into making those. Now, unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't film any of it because I was just so in the zone. I didn't even think to take a camera out and film that. But the reception desk I have, that's the one with the bowl with, with all the business cards and where the card machine goes. Basically, I'm building a new one. I got another idea. My father actually helped me with this idea. We said, let's have a reception desk. Keep it exactly the same as it is, only at the front, we install a TV and we play a whole loop of all the big and bold products. I'm like, that is a fucking fantastic idea. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. This whole video, I'm gonna show you guys from scratch how I make this cabinet, uh, building the TV, everything. I'm gonna do it from start to finish, how it starts off with a sheet of steel, programming it on the CNC, bending it, popping it together, painting it, and then the finished product. So make sure you guys stay tuned because I don't even know what this is gonna look like yet. And I'm, I'm just so excited to see what happens. So we've got a lot of work ahead of us, so make sure you stay tuned. See you in a bit. It's in here, it's in here. Here's the TV, I just picked up the TV there. Um, it's a Walker 32 inch television. It was only like fucking 150 euro or something like that. I bought a USB, put the loop on it, everything works. So we're good to go to start building. All I have to do now is just measure the TV and figure out the size I need because I'm gonna be making a tray that swings open so I can take the TV in and out if I need to. And then also I need to have a back open at all times. So I'll, I'll make a little slot here on the tray so I can get the USB in whenever I need. And then a little circle here for the plug to come out and drop down. Because in the cabinet, I'm gonna have built-in extension leads so I can plug everything in. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the drawing is done. Let's get programming it. Work out the sizes.
making good progress. Right now we have the body and the base fully done. Um, right now I just need to measure the TV, figure out how high I can go, width and height. So I can make a tray. And basically the tray is just going to sit here. I'm just going to pop it here and here. And the TV will slide down in here and then we just put a top. So what have I got left to do? I have to put, obviously I have to make a tray. I have to make a shelf for stall and stuff. A door, a lid, some brackets for the caster wheels. And then we just need to paint it and brand it up. That's done. And then that's the shop complete. So yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna measure this TV. We're gonna get the tray done. I'll talk to you in a bit. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> yes. Here we go. We're on to a winner. It's, it's matching up perfect. But just because this is a little bit flimsy, it's making it uh, push forward a little bit. But I'll just get some Velcro tape and that'll sort that out. But other than that, that is absolutely perfect. Yeah, I'll take that. This thing looks amazing. I keep looking over here when the camera's here. I don't know why. Maybe look like I'm going cross side. But um, this is where we are now. I'm just checking on my wiring, make sure everything's right. I'm gonna build a shelf now, and then I'm gonna attach the extension lead to the shelf, and then find ways that I can hide all the wires. Once that's done, I need to make a, a lid, then the door, then some brackets for wheels, and then it's good, I just break it down, and paint it up. Uh, I'll probably paint it tomorrow now, to be fair, because it's nine o'clock at night, and I still have a bit more to do, but um, it's starting to look pretty fucking cool. So yeah, stay tuned. That's it for today. We made good progress. Only dickhead here. I put a hole up here for the plug and didn't think about this. So I had to cut this with the grinder. 
and I made a little yoke to fit in there. This is where the extension lead will get cable tied and the lead from the extension lead will go in here, around the back and down and then out through the base. So it can be plugged in. The wire for the telly will come along here and get plugged in here. The card machine will come straight down in and Wi-Fi there. Cash box and then just merchandise on the bottom. So yeah, tomorrow we will make the lid, we'll make the door and hopefully get it painted because I'm very eager to see how this is gonna turn out. So stay tuned, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, here we are, Saturday morning, ready to go again. I literally just got here. Uh, thankfully it's not as cold as it was yesterday. Yesterday I was wearing a t-shirt, a long sleeve, a fleece, a hoodie and this hoodie and today I'm only wearing a t-shirt, a fleece and this hoodie which is good. So I'm just turning on everything, getting ready to go and we're going to start the lid and um, I'm just going to jump straight into it, start programming it and get the lid on, get the door on, get it painted. Hopefully by the end of the day we will have it complete so stay tuned. Let's get this lid done. Giving the allowance for the door so the door will sit against this then and I won't be able to push in and then it's got the tray. This is for the bowl where you, we're gonna keep the business cards. I just made that there for the car machine so it won't fall off. And then basically the wire will come down through here straight into the extension lead. The wire from the TV straight into the extension lead and the Wi-Fi router will sit here straight into the extension lead. So that's where we are now. All we have to do now is make a door, paint it up, and we're good to go. But it's starting to come together. Stick around. Okay. 
сиделки Wow. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get it plugged in. I just throw some Velcro on this so it stops it being flimsy. Once that's done, I'll get the lid on, I'll get the door on, get it wired up and reveal it. So let's get back to work. It's done. The shop is complete. I'll show you. I'm gonna plug it in now in a second. Get it all wired up. But business cards, pens, merchandise, cash box, everything. There we go. It's safe to say I think we're gonna have to kill the shop at the show. So like I said, I'm just gonna plug it all in now, get all the LED lights and the cabinets on, and let's take it for a test drive, see what it looks like. And that, my friends, is it. The shop is complete. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I've never ever built anything like this before. So it was one hell of a learning experience. So if you guys can give me a like, subscribe, or if you want to see more videos like this, leave a comment. But yeah, thanks for sticking around this long. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. But for now, we need to make some sales to pay for all the steel I'm after using. So come on, get out your cards. Tap away, let's go.